Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Gambians, we have seen with our own naked eyes when Lieutenant Colonel Langtombo Tamba and Sergio Fofana have been unlawfully sentenced to 20 years in jail for an alleged involvement in 2006 coup led by former Chief of Defense Staff, Colonel Ndurcha. Langtombaum was said to have foiled that coup that led to his promotion to the commander of the Gambian National Army. And Sergio Fofana, we all remember, was the head of the court martial that sentenced the alleged copies. This shows that it is very clear that dictators would go at any length in using sons of our land and after dumping them deep. It is quite unfortunate and sad for Lan Tombo and Co to be shouting in court saying that the judiciary in this country, the Gambia, is not fair. They are calling in the question of the impartiality of the judiciary. It is quite sad, very, very sad indeed. Our country has turned into what nobody knows. Our men in uniform are being used to torture us, criminalize, brutalize, and electrify our bodies just for the sake of one person. Yaya Jame. Gambians have been at the yoke of dictatorship, brutal torture, and so many, 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 many things. The international community needs to look into our plight. I know governments would always deny that the country is in turmoil, that the country is undemocratic. No government, even Gaddafi and the uh, previous regimes in Egypt and Tunisia, all of them would claim to be democratic nations. But it has been shown and proven to the international community that they were not. Even Saddam Hussein would call his country a democratic country when it is known to the international community that he is one of the greatest dictators. Even the brutal bin Laden, stupid man for that matter, he would say he is fighting a just cause. He was fighting a just cause for him. But the international world needs peace. People are looking for peace, happiness, progress. That is what we need. We don't need communities like the Gambia torturing their citizens to submission. You cannot gain impartial, correct information from somebody who is subjected to torture. You would always get what you want, but not the facts, not the truth. And this is what is happening in the Gambia right now. Everybody is scared. Nobody is in peace. People know that when there are free and fair elections in the Gambia, Jame would definitely be out in seconds. But because there would never be free and fair elections, people would be intimidated, orders would be beaten, soldiers would be used, and at the end of the election, Jame would still turn down and dump those same soldiers, accuse them of trying to overthrow him. This is really sad. And I hope, Gambians, we would all see these things and try come together get this man, get this cancer out of our body once and for all. Once again, I thank you very much. This is Bamba Mas. Thank you.